What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to 2070. We got quite a few things to do in this episode. So first of all, I want to get a trade route right. A writ of protection there from the pirate for 30 minutes. That should be fine. Costing us a thousand. Um, not that much, so that's fine. And now we can safely go with the trading ship to trench code while he's still in the area selling some weapons there. Some wood that we also have. And I guess in this case, yeah, let's sell also some tools again. We do have them. Let's get them over here. Hopefully he's still in time here. Let's have a look there. Can we see how long he's staying here? Oh, for another 34 minutes. Very good. So that's fine. So we get lots of money out of that. We do need it. Um, right now, we don't need that many tools in Eden here anyway. So that's something to know down here we have a city center so right now what i also want to do while we still have some building modules ready let's have a few more houses just in the area here for another block another like city center or not city center but another district of eden that we want to have here in this area here so it's a smaller oh it's a beautiful area here though with those mountains there so yeah people here should be happy then hopefully and what i can see is there is a concert hall so we do want to have a concert hall here as well let's have a look how far it could go oh yeah we should actually have it yeah we should actually have it here in this block here of buildings there perfect that's it and then we can just go for all of them here in the area and they will also be able to upgrade then and yeah let's have some more buildings here and also some more Oh, here I need to be careful because the streets are not aligned in a correct order. So we need to do that one here first. And then I will not be able to get two blocks here. But what I probably will be able to do is having an information center here. Just in here. Very good. Yep, yeah, for that. Oh, no. There is one over here already. So let's just have another block of buildings then. Yeah, that's fitting. Very good. And also here. But those guys. Do we still have building modules? No, nope. we are at the end of it. Very good. So what we can do now is upgrading a few more. The thing here is you can't endlessly upgrade those guys here, you know. So it takes a bit of time for them um, to be able to upgrade. As you can see now, it's empty. And it's taking a bit of time there again before it can continue upgrading. And no company uh, over here. Not good. Very good. That's it. My... Freighter is on its way. Very good. And we do have a bit of money to start the first watch. Oh, over here. I see the pirate once again. We should probably also have some defense here. No, actually, we're not going to have those fishes here forever. So right now, let's just rebuild it. That's it. Registering. Eco Those are neutral buildings for some reasons. For some reasons, they're out now, out of the reach of my harbor depot when they were in here previously. That's a bit strange. Right, let's get rid of both of them here and have them over here. Yeah, now I have them in the area again. I don't know why that happened, but well, doesn't matter. It's solved. Anyway, now that's that. Um, yeah, money-wise, I really want to wait for my ship here to deliver something. So let's just wait for that there real quick. Over here, we have trench code. Still waiting. He has an amazing ship there, by the way. Just look at those details there. Absolutely wonderful ship here. A beautiful cyberpunk feeling to it. And there we have the trading ship. And let's just sell those things here and look at that. Another 3,300 credits that we get out of this one here. Let's send the trading ship back again. Because I think we can haul another bunch of goods over he uh, to him then to have some more money. We are at 6,000 credits now. That's good. Because now we can finally start with the production chain here in Helios. Before I do that, however, I want to get my energy balancer up and running a bit. So let's have another windmill over here and probably also another windmill over here then. Very good for some energy and also another weather control station. Mm, yeah, let's have this one over here at the beach. Very good. So we can increase that. And let's have a look at my mountain sites that we have here. We have one mine site over here, one over here. Oh, they're far away from each other. So we will definitely need to have two depots only for the mining alone. At least we can fit it in there. Very good. That's the first one. And then we're going to have a depot here to 
that area there very good and here we have then the ocean with the beach with a beautiful huge beach stem very good that's something and right we also got the rice fertility let's have the item i've already delivered it there's the item and i've activated it now and as you can see now we have rice and vegetable seeds here in helios amazing so let's start with the first new productions here some more complex ones already we do need some sand for that sand processor i think um can we have that on the water oh no that's actually with a river and there is the sand processing plant so that is just a plant yeah that just needs some stuff we do have two a copper mine yeah let's build two of them they're expensive though 750 credits each time for a bit of copper there very good and then we do need the sand processing so hmm, i don't know how much we actually need of them let's have a look sand processing requires granules for production i have no idea right now what they are is that something they need from hmm i have no idea what we have to do with them right now I don't think that he is able to produce anything right now. Is that an underwater building? Nope, it doesn't look like it. And nor does there seem to be anything here like it. Let's have a look around. Over here we got nothing off the... Like the, over there? Lobsters. Right, I'm a bit confused there right now. Because obviously we can't do anything with them. They have a huge radius, though, of influence there. So, right. What we can do, though, or should do then, is the sand extractor on the river slot. So, we do have a river here in Omnitron. Omnitron, where is my warehouse? There it is. So, we can just get some building resources over there and then build them. There we have them. Let's have another 20 there and deliver that to Omnitron. No idea what I have to do with that, though. Sand processing plant production building obviously it's not producing anything it would make sense for us to build it on the beaches but for some reasons not working Oh, I see. Transferred 10 tons of granules. Wait a second. I think... I think I know now what the problem is. We do need uh, the basalt extractor because they are producing granules. Yeah. And we already have them here. So that's my fault. That's good though. We don't need to do anything in Omnitron because I really don't want to build anything there right now. Very good. Now we solved that problem there. Let's get some more tools on my trade ship here. And some more wood. And yeah, also some tea because that is capped too. And deliver that to trench coat while we're still at peace with the pirate there too. That's that. And now that we solved that mystery, let's have some basalt extractors over here. I have no idea how many of them, so we'll just go with a feeling here and then just see how many of them we actually do need. That's them. And then let's have the sand processing plant. So in this case, let's just take three of them for now. And they're producing us the sand that we need then for the microchip factory that we have over here. Chip factory. Let's have... Yeah, we, we just have that here, you know, the sand production. And the chip factory, let's have that here down in the harbor area. There we have another depot. And then we have the chip factory, which does need sand and copper to produce microchips. 
Let's have three for now. Beautiful buildings there. They're producing now the microchips and then we can already have the communicator. In this case, three of them again. But right now, as you can see, the money is scarce. But we have a good balance there at the moment. Oh, and look at that. Fishes is low. For some reasons, they're not delivering the fishes now to the harbor area. Let's see. There's the port authority. That's the one that we need, actually. Port authority. I built the wrong building here Eagle also. Balance. So I really messed up in this episode too when I was actually thinking that we would have a nice episode here. Right, but that should be fine now. Let's have some more fishes here. And now we're getting some good fishes in here because they're all capped here with five and that should be good then before I lose any of my people here. Look at that. That's deep red right now. But it's going up again. So we now have fish again. Very good. Going up again. That's important. They should hopefully be happy now. Yeah, very good. Fishes is going up again. And so is my storage there. Very good. That was a close one though. We've lost quite a few people. Right, and this one here doesn't have any sand. I hope those three guys here are fine. Should be fine though for that production. Now he's got some sand, very good. So we got three chip factories now working for us. And I think we're going to have then three um, of the electronics factories then here as well that we can afford. And then I can already start with my first trade route. Let's sell the goods. That's another 2,200. That's fine. Let's get the trade, uh, my trading ship here to Helios right away because I really want to start with the trade route for the communicator stand. They're quite, uh, they're worth quite a, a lot. And in this case, yeah, let's have them here, three. Ho, oh, and we can afford it. Let's have another wind park as well, down here. And yeah, that's fine for now. Very good. Probably also one over here. So that's working we do have a bit of money there still and we could start with the health food production here um oh we do need a few tools here so yeah they're waiting right now we do have the production here and my viper there it is with the tools that i wanted to deliver previously and let's find a suitable location for those plantations so down here we do have a lot of space there is one and then probably here. Yeah, that's looking fine. And health food. So we do need the vegetables and the rice. Let's start with... There is no ratio here. Production buildings. No, let's just have four of each of them. Right. Four should be fine. How many do they need? Oh, look at that. They do need lots of space though. The rice alone. I hope that's fine. Let's try it out. Five of those farms. That is harsh. Yeah, I, don't, I will not have the space for all of them. This one needs to go. And the problem is I'm not getting back anything. Holy moly, they do need space. Lots of it. I can only build one. So we could have one here then. No, I need to, to go at this one here completely different Production halted. five of them holy moly that's a lot of space probably not the best idea to have two to have both of them on one island then we'll see about that anyway we're building the uh producing the communicators there so we should get the first one seen oh you already eight of them and the fish is here too so let's start with the first trade route new trade route that's for fish and communicators and it goes from Helios to Eden. And in Helios, we are loading f all the fish there is. And then two times the communicators there and deliver all of that to Eden. And of course, we add our freight ship, the Sea Devil, to this one here. And 
and it's active. Let's just see how that works. Very good. There he cuts his good. And fishes and communicators are now being transported. And that, of course, should also then boost our income there quite a bit um, once we have the communicators here. And while that is happening, let's also upgrade some more buildings. We can upgrade quite a lot of them here. Very good. Also over here. And this block here too. And the city is getting bigger and bigger now. Also some over here. We do have the tools anyway. Very good. That's it. And yeah, we could actually already go for another community center then. Somewhere over here. But I guess in this case, I want to leave this spot here open then for a monument. Something like that. So if I build a community center here now. I'm going to leave some space open in this area. And this should be big enough then. Very good. So there we can have our first monument and around it we have then more buildings. Just in this area here. That should be looking good then. And where is my... Yep, communicators are being transported now. Do we have them? We do have them now. It's going up. And so is my tax income there. And we'll just see if that is enough, actually, of those communicators there. And right. Rice farm. Shouldn't be wasted, though. Let's just have it here. And we can actually build the next one there right away. Oh boy. That should be fine here too. Let's just hope that this is fine too. And we can have the street and then we have those farms around it. My goodness. So much space. At least we have two of them here side by side. Oh, 16 communicators already. Quite a good one. You know, and right, since we do have now we make out of this so many employees, I will probably increase my taxes there a bit now. Right, also from the normal um, ones, because we do need money in this case. And I would also like to focus on another freight ship there soon. Trench coat, 11 minutes should be fine. We could go for another haul of goods to him. Let's actually do that. Let's actually, yeah, get some more tools and weapons to trench coat because I really do want money. We do have a nice balance at the moment, but we do need so much more. Weapons, very good. It's so good to have a good weapon production up there and some tools and yeah, some sand or granules there. Will not be worth that much, but still. Every sand counts in this case. Now they're on the way. We are having some money there again. Let's continue with the rice. The rice farm, the next one we can have over, yeah, hopefully over here, I think. Can we plant something? Yes, very good. That's another five farms that we need for this one here. The bastard. And also another one. So it's four fields that it's needing. So we can have one. No, that's not good something like that that should be fine yep oh and Sokov has a quest for us transport delivery without being discovered by scanner units for some iron but more importantly for some influence let's take this quest we do have a viper that can do the job very good another rice farm so at least we got four of them now then let's have a look at the vegetables Hopefully they are not as... Oh yeah, five again. But they are smaller, those fields. So with those fields, we can actually have two of them side by side. So let's have another four of them. 
here. For this production chain there. They don't take that much space at least. Yeah, we can actually have two side by side. Very good. Then we can actually have them closer together here. There's the next one. And the next one. No! It's it's not fitting with one space there. Come on. Let's have it like that. It's five there and this one's probably... It should be fine. Wait, that's a close one. It's only four, but it should be fine then. Beautiful fields there. That's that. And actually, let's move the depot here over to this area there so we can have another farm. Right, so it's five now. So that were four of them, four vegetables, four rice farms. And that means we can now start with the next production here, which is the health food. And that will be then over here again in the harbor area. We already have a production chain there. So I'm going to have the next production chain here with another depot. And then we have, I think, two of them for now. Two of those guys there and we'll just see how much they actually consume. So now we got the communicators and the health food production up and running. Um, we do need a second ship though for the health food and then we actually have fulfilled all the goods that my employees want so we can upgrade them then right uh, as well. And here since we do have some building modules let's continue with expanding our city there still. So we do have some stuff here. Let's get rid of that street so we can actually place more of them here side by side. Because we do need those taxes. That we can have a little smaller park there. <laughs> Something like that. We're going to make big parks as well, so no problem there. And here another block of buildings. Very good. And another block here. will be fitting quite nicely there very good city is still growing oh and over here we have lots of space and we can also have an education network that we should Time then have changed. over here now, there no oh he will no longer spare my ships there so let's just get my ship there quickly sell the stuff How you doing? and then oh four thousand very good and let's get it back home let's start the trade route there once again and he thanks me for that very good six thousand and two goods are incoming now so communicators and the safe uh the health food there for my people there so that's quite the bump in money that we'll see soon um something else probably let's have a look we do have enough building resources there for the moment let's just have yep yeah, more buildings here in this case we can have the education network um after another block of buildings here. So here we have them. Right, and then we have our second communications center. Yeah, over here, I think. Well, lots of buildings are coming together. Registering energy shortage. Oh, another energy shortage there. So let's just have another wind park here for a bit more energy. And there we have it. And yeah, also the child and career policy is activated all the time. And in this case, let's just have more buildings here then around it. Very good. Oh, and we are actually out of building modules already. No problem though. Looking good so far. More money is coming in. Oh, yes. Now we are really starting here. Another trading ship that we can have them. Oh, no, my trade ship. Okay, let's do something real quick here. Ceasefire for... Can we have peace? 
Oh, 5,000. I really won't want that. Let's go for ceasefire there. I really don't want to waste my trade chip. The thing is, it cost me 2,000, but a trade chip cost me 1,500, you know. So I, um, I bought peace now for quite some time there with a bit of money and saved my money there on that and we can build out a second trade ship which is then going to be on the route for the safe food or for the health food to eden and then we can go finally for the third stage stay tuned